I'm KB with the B. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am doing well. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so up up right now. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I appreciate it. I love your hair. This looks so okay. good. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So I have to ask, you know, what was it like to play Bella, who, in my opinion, is truly the only honorary politician of the city? Like, who <laughs> like to the only person who's not corrupt? <laughs> Yeah, man. Um, I mean, it was it was wonderful, right? Because she's a whole new character. So there's a lot of freedom with that, right? I'm not having to be held to any fans ideas of who she is, right? I can really just create her with the the rest of the team. Um, so with that, it was really just about being bringing all of myself bringing that authenticity, right? That's what is so I feel like people will find so refreshing is she is in some way um, ca uh, counterculture, right? As far as what we know about Gotham. Um, but at the same time, she is from Gotham. She is of Gotham. So who better to represent than somebody that really is from there, that's lived in it, that's experienced the corruption firsthand. Um, so yeah, we just really embraced all of who I was to bring her bring her to life. Oh, I love that. And so you're right. You know, this is a fresh character. There's a lot that you can do apart from the fandom, but because she is a fresh character, you know, now that means that she's canon in like the DC comics lore <laughs> and, and the DC universe on screen. So where would you like to see this character go like in the future? Uh, you know, how, how would you like to see her expanded? That's a really great question. Nobody's asking that. Um, I don't know. I feel like, and you see a little bit in this film, she's a bit of a fighter, right? Like she's not, she don't care nothing. When they release that funeral scene, right? It's like, mm -hmm. she don't care nothing about who Bruce Wayne is. Like, uh, that means nothing to me. Uh, I need you to show up. Okay. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so I feel like more of that, of somebody who is um, combating these ideas that everybody's been fed for so long um, and really challenge, um, uh, you know, challenge uh, these characters a bit more on their ideologies and, and, and why they're fighting, what they're fighting for, who they're really fighting for. You know, I think that she's an important voice in that, in that aspect. Yeah, I think it's right. Like, you know, Bella doesn't actually care. Bella's always on the side, which is something that I appreciate of like, what is right and mm -hmm. justice and she doesn't care who's behind it so it's like yeah right. you're bruce wayne and your family has money and your family has like a rich legacy in right. Gotham, but what are you doing <laughs> like, <Right. laughs> so. what are you playing <laughs> yeah. so she checks him repeatedly and i really really love that so for you you know because you had such flexibility and freedom with crafting bella are there any other characters that you portrayed before or any other characters that you um, watched and admired that you pulled from as inspiration for Bella? Um, no, um, but I will say uh, one of the first things Matt told me was that um, Bella was, she wasn't in, in the original script. Um, she was, uh, he was inspired by AOC um, mm. and Stacey Abrams and that whole group of yeah, of women of color that really started to come in, what was that, 2016? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that wave that just happened. Uh, and he, it was too strong for him to ignore that. He was like, oh no, this, there's something there that has to be here in this version of Gotham. Um, so again, AOC is somebody who, she ain't afraid of, she's she gonna be who she is yeah. fully and is not hiding any of that. Um, and is not in, in any way trying to gain any, you know, political power. She really grew up there and, and knows what the people want and knows what the people need. Um, so that was a lot of, of who Bella was based off of. I didn't, I had not heard that. So thank you. I appreciate yeah. that because now I can't unsee it, but in a good way, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like now I can actually lean into those like references and those influences yeah. of, of AOC and Stacey Abrams. Like yeah. it makes so sense whole wave that's who Bella represents is that that new wave that we now are experiencing yeah 
Oh my goodness. That makes sense. So tell me a little bit about, you know, Matt, I do. I, I think that this iteration of Batman is one of the freshest, you know, concepts we've seen before. So what was it like, you know, collaborating with Matt and what's something that you'll take with you, you know, um, into your career, just based on this experience, what lessons did you learn? His attention to detail. It's impeccable. I mean, I mean, he would do multiple takes and not, not, and, and I, I quickly learned, oh, he's not just letting the camera roll for the sake of letting the camera roll. He is, he's looking for something really specific. And when he feels like he got it, then it's, you know, and I, as a Virgo, really appreciated that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and that is something uh, that I definitely took on with me to my, my next projects was, just that kind of specificity and you know if we're doing multiple takes what you know what is this the slight tilt or the all of that as it relates to the camera and 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 the world um i definitely took that on for him he was a dream director yes listen i just think that his ideas are so fresh and i do you know something that i i've just been asking and hearing in these interviews that we've been having is just how collaborative it is. And so very, I know that very, that is a uh, very special a scene. Um, we would, you know, he wasn't so precious about the script, right? Even though he wrote it, which I also was a little, uh, I was taken aback about, right? Cause he would really just come to me and be like, okay, so what do we say here? Like, is this, is this, is this fitting right? Is this sound, feel right in your mouth? It should be, how do we want to approach it, right? What is Bella trying to do? You know, get down on the floor with you and really try to mark up the script and figure out what actually is best to convey this moment. Um, so yeah, super collaborative. Yes, and I love that. So, you know, lastly, I would be remiss if I didn't ask because, you know, the first lady, I'm looking so forward. So, I mean, like, I yeah. cannot wait to see this year. So how is it going? You know, to spill a little bit of something for me. <laughs> because <laughs> I just, I'm so excited. Like, I absolutely cannot wait to see it. Um, yeah, you and me both. I am, I'm really excited. Um, that, right, that's premiering in April, April mm -hmm. 17th. Um, and I got to see a little bit of it when I did some ADR a couple uh, couple days ago or a week ago or something. And I was just like, oh, okay. Like I was at, like really pleased. Um, and I'm gonna, you know, get to see some of the episodes to see it all in context. Um, but I, I'm very excited uh, to see that. I remember when they dropped the trailer and you get to see all the women and I'm just like, oh, this is happening. Yes. Like, legitimately happening. So I'm very excited for everybody to, to, to see that show. I mean, listen, you're playing an icon. So like, we are so excited. The, the icon before she was an icon. Right, you know? right. Like, I, I love it. Like, I absolutely cannot wait to see it. So thank you so much. And also, I do just have to tell you, I adored Farewell Aboard. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh, it was one of my favorite um, films. And it is just so good and so touching in the layers and the, just the complexities of the relationship you know, between your character and her dad and, and everything yeah. like, it was just so good. So I also wanted to tell you that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, KB. Thank you so much.